Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 17. Now this week, as promised, bye bye stats, we are going to instead look at circle theorems in response to a request from Lisa Lee from Stanley High School. So without further ado, let's crack on. Now, we're just on a blank 2D graph page, which is absolutely fine for our work on circle theorems. Um, I'm going to start by just drawing a circle. So I'm going to go into point mode, give that a little click, and I'm going to pop a point here at 0, 0, pop it wherever you like. Um, that point is automatically selected. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to draw myself a circle of radius, let's go for 3. Click OK, let's have a look at that, looking good. Now, when I'm doing work with geometry, angles, and all that kind of stuff, I don't really want these uh, these axes. So, as we've looked at in the past, let's just get rid of them by clicking on No Axes. And I'll tell you what, that key's doing my head in as well, so that's going to go. Hover down here, right-click, get rid of Show Key. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple of the circle theorems, and I'll leave you to have a mess around and try the others. Um, I'm going to go into point mode, and I'm just going to hover... Um, my cursor around, you'll notice it's a cross, as soon as it hovers over an object, like a circle or a line or something like that, it changes into an arrow, and that means that point is now going to be attached to my circle, so if I click on it, there's my point, and now if I use my right and left ma um, arrow keys on the keyboard, that point will move nicely round my circle, which is very, very good. Um, okay, so let's have a look at a first circle theorem. I'm going to do the angle at the centre one, so I'm going to need three points for this. So still in point mode, pop another one on, and I'll pop another one on there. So there's my three points. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to join those three points up with line segments between them. So for that, I'm going to go back into select mode, or I can't be bothered clicking on the arrow, I'm just going to hit escape. So there I am in select mode, got my cursor back, and I'm going to um, select that point. I'm going to hold down shift because I'm not in whiteboard mode and select that point. I'm going to right click and I'm going to get myself a line segment. And I am going to click randomly elsewhere just to deselect everything. And I'm going to do the same. Click, click, right click, line segment. And let's have one down here. Click, hold down shift, click, right click, line segment. Very fun this. Click, click, right click line segment. Okay, and let's measure some of these angles. So let's go for the angle at the centre first. So I'm going to, as we talked about measuring angles, you've got to define the angle in the right order. So select that point, select that point, and select that point. And I will right click, and hopefully down here I have right at the bottom angle. Um, I'll have my angle to no decimal places, I think. Um, and yes, I will show the label, and I'll click OK. And that's looking quite nice. I'll tell you what, I won't mind that arc of the angle being a bit bigger. Let's have a double click on that. Change my angle arc size to 12 or something. That's looking a bit nicer. 57 degrees. Um, and notice now if I move this around, that automatically adjusts. Let's get it on 60 degrees, something like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the angle at the circumference. So click on that point. Hold down shift to select another, another point. And I'll keep shift held down and select that point. All three are selected. Right click and hopefully we've got angle there looking good. Now what I'm going to do to build up the tension is first I'll change that to no decimal places. I'm going to get rid of the label. Click OK. So what that's going to do, it's measured the angle but it's not going to tell the students what it is. And we'll get them to predict. And dun, 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 double click on it. Well that's an anticlimax because I've missed the actual thing. Let's have a look here. Double click. That's because my arc size is so small. Got it eventually. I'll just increase that whilst I'm here to 15. Show label, OK, and there you go, it's 30 degrees. And as I move it around, you'll notice that the angle at the centre is always twice the size as the angle at the circumference. Final thing I'll show you um, is I'll just show you how to do a tangent, because this might be nice for some of the other circle theorems. If you just select a point on the centre, uh, sorry, on the circumference of the circle, right click, and hopefully you'll get tangent, and there you go. And that will always remain a tangent. Now there are lots and lots of circle theorems. You've got cyclic quadrilateral, you've got um, all the ones to do with tangents, you've alternate segment theorem. Why not have a little play around with them and see if you can use these skills to construct all your circle theorems. And um, hopefully, because it's dynamic, your students will understand them and be able to ask any questions that they like. Okay, that's it for now. Hope all's well and see you next week. Bye-bye.